I cannot believe Fenris is alive, guys. Oh my god. Did anyone actually think that she was dead? I hope none of you actually thought she was dead. And if you're gonna say, what about your title saying Fenris is dead? Crying emoji. Listen, it's just a YouTube algorithm game. It's just to get people riled up and say shit like, no, she's not actually dead, you fucking idiot. Today's episode, sorry, last episode with the Jin. Huh. The angry Freya was amazing. Absolutely. He's a character that I don't really think is important to the story, even though he's the main character, because I care about all the interactions of the girls around that, right? But even so, despite him seemingly just like a generic, lame-ass isekai protagonist, his scene last episode where he got actually upset, I was like, holy shit. Okay, now we're actually talking. The Jin got fucked up, but I think the Jin actually, like, enjoyed it because, you know, she started moaning and shit. I don't know. I think she enjoyed the abuse. And the Jin is so freaky. She was watching Fenris and Donna Sama get it on, apparently. Now, in the anime, they ruined that scene because, like, apparently in the manga or the light novel, the source material, uh, it's very heavily implied that Freya and Fenris they kind of clapped cheeks that night. And then the morning after, the Jin showed up and was like, Yeah, I watched all of it. I was here the entire time. But in the anime, they didn't really do that because I guess they just wanted to keep it a little bit PG. Now, what are we going to be doing today? Well, actually, before we get to that, there's also the other thing, right? Time powers. If we keep using it, there's going to be some negative, like, um, a negative effect of it. I'm not sure if that's going to be happening. It's only the Jin is allowed to use it. But if we use it and we did use it on Fenrir, it's like something like bad might happen. Then that's something to keep in mind. And then I think that's pretty much it. We're getting into... No, 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 sorry, sorry, sorry. There's a new enemy on top of that. Because, like, the seal, right? Okay, so the Jin was sealed, but the Jin being sealed was also sealed something else below. That's right, that was the other thing that's happening. The shitty hero had turned into a fucking monster, and then uh, we might be having, you know, a new monster coming in. Let's begin today's reaction, though. <laughs> Ah, you can't call him Ball. It's not fair. That's his entire race, man. <laughs> Is she gonna get added to our harem? It's not a harem, but you know, we've got a group of girls. All done, all Fenris? The missus here. He is really just a complete, just uh, the missus. She is fine with just being the cuck, dude. She's just totally fucking fine. This is a pack, not a harem. This is a pack. Bali was a very cute with the little ketchup there. Yeah, pay your rent, motherfuckers. Bunch of neats not paying rent, doing nothing. Almighty one. Because they're realizing they're leeching. <laughs> they feel bad. At least they're aware to feel bad. Their respective futures. That's her psycho girl. And she's cleaning horse shit. Scoop up that horse poop. Come on, let's see it. That tongue doing with the horses, bro. <laughs> you know, if you must lick me, please keep it to my cheeks. The warning is incredibly sus here. She got a brother? Castle mages. <laughs> oh, oh, there it is. Okay. Maybe she's gonna get super OP. There's a random horse that's fucking our, our farm. What? Where the fuck did this horse come from? I'm confused. It's because the frenzy prayers? No, no, no. 
plowed the field. Uh, well, what are we doing? I mean, she did like getting licked in the cheeks by the horses, and she is a horse tamer, so she she's a horse girl. Got it. Got it. <laughs> Okay, we're going to see what Billy is all about today. Because like, she's kind of been background character for a while. Probably. Oh, alone time. In public. I thought they were going to do something. Not. That's right. They're actual, you know, husband and wife instead of being pretend. <laughs> Makes you what? Makes you what? Finish your sentence. Oh, Salamander's それは気功石という魔石だ。へえ。ハリス。仕事中の真剣な顔もすごい。She's like supposed to be some ancient maids that took over the gold digger's body, yeah. Yeah, it's the shitty ass Yusha. Damalina's the apric apricot, the grand magus of midnight. Ooh, big title. I just see big booba. Cool. Started doing forbidden magic. An actual hero sealed her. Yeah, what, what, what is the deal with the double seal here? Like, what the fuck? Doesn't this seem like a little bit of a security risk? I, that's a terrible seal, dude. I, I wouldn't even say it's the Jin's fault. It's, it's whoever fucking made the seal's fault. It should have had separate fucking seals or something. Okay, okay, yeah, I hear you. She can do it? I mean, I believe her. Do it. He should be able to do it. She is insane. <laughs> this fucking nice captain, bro. This fucking knight's captain, I feel bad for him. He's, look at his leg shaking, dude. His leg is fucking moving. <laughs> at least he's doing his job. Nice. Oh. Lightning attacks doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh no, not Fireland's Noir! That's a flag. That's a flag. Never say shit like that. The fuck she's summoning? Just making the camera even bigger. Pretty scary now, but I doubt it matters. <laughs> what was that dramatic fucking duh <laughs> with the different art style? <laughs> duh. I don't know. I just find it funny because like right now, even though there is like super like uh like, like the monsters attacking and the village is in danger, but like everyone watching this show knows it's like we're not actually in danger, you know? I'm just kinda chilling still, right? I'm just still watching, I'm just kinda chilling still. So stuff like this kinda makes it funny to me. The Titans are attacking! <laughs> rumbling! <laughs> rumbling! That was fucking quick. That was so quick, dude. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that was Danna Sama doing it. <laughs> I think she's only saying this because she wants an excuse to be punished. And I don't think I'm wrong. She's just saying this because she wants to get brutalized, bro. This Hia girl is fucking... She is a freak. Punish me, Danna-sama. <laughs> Stop talking like that. Stop talking like that. <laughs> 
Don't kill her though. I like her design. No. Okay, she's in the ball now. Ah, this piece of shit's back. Well. I did enjoy his, you know, ridiculous over-the-top voice acting. Maybe he's learned his lesson. I thought that the, you know, the hero is done after he turned into a monster, but like, it looks like he's back with the gold digger. So... Oh. Oh, she swallowed her. What, what if she poops it out, though? Wait, I, does do Jin's poop? Probably not. That's a lot of side booba right now. My mental state. Okay, she's being corrected in her mental state. Princess. I want Fenris to get super angry right now. I want her. I, I want. I want her to be fucking super upset and be like, "Who the fuck is this bitch?" You slut! How dare you introduce yourself to my husband? She's right. She's right. And the previous hero, she says, because we are acknowledged as a true hero. Yeah, she's right though. I mean, everyone from that kingdom has been extremely trash from the fucking beginning. But this princess seems to be like the only person who is reasonable. He's relieved of his duties. So are we recognized as the real hero? I don't want to be a hero. I want to just chill here. Nah. Nope. Reject her. We're chilling. Nope. This is not an isekai. We're here to kill the Dark Lord. No. The Demon Lord is gonna get married to Bali Rosa. Don't you dare fucking ruin this to me. We're here to fucking chill. Gapin, no. Kotowaru! Base, base. I love this direction of the show. Because, like, even the title literally says chilling in another world with my level 2 cheat superpowers. And it sounds fucking stupid. But if you really, like, read what it says, we're just chilling. We're, we're chilling here, bro. We don't need to go on a mission to, like, save other people. We got our group of friends. We're chilling here. We don't want to do anything for you guys. Go summon another fucking hero and let them do that shit. Well said. Rejected. Be gone, princess. It's not a barn. Is it called a horse range? I thinking about merchantry. Why is she thinking really far into the future? Jesus, Fenris, I know you're just saying this like an, as an objective fact, but you're basically just telling her, like, you're a fucking weak little fucking human. How the fuck could you tame that horse? Just buy more land. Easy. <laughs> These girls, bro? They put in a lot of fucking work. They really felt bad about being replaced and doing all the chores at home. So they're like, shit, we don't even pay rent here. What are we going to do? I feel so shameful just living here. So this is their next, uh, what's the word? Contributions to the family. <laughs> they don't have that kind of money, do they? That, that, that is so real, dude. That's like, yeah, how the fuck are you just gonna buy land like that? Like, what the fuck kind of money you have saved up? Even in a fantasy show like this, we can't even be fucking landowners. <laughs> we need the demons to show... Yo, Baliros, like, call your boyfriend, the dark one. Let him fucking attack here so the, the price of the land goes down because it's a less desirable land to live in. This is hilarious. We need the demons here to fucking <laughs> prop down the prices. <laughs> てもちの部分を売れば何とかこの家の敷地になるんだし広げた土地の管理をしてくれるなら助かるしねあさまり広げた土地を利用していた利益の3割はこっちの。ファイナリー。ファイナリー。They're <笑> <笑><笑> 30% of the profit of the new land is rent. Never, never seen people so excited to fucking pay rent.
Never seen people excited to pay rent in my life. <laughs> yeah, honestly, I feel. Where did this horse come from? That <laughs> that that horse it showed up out of nowhere. She tamed it, and now it's just being used for fucking work forever. <laughs> the, 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 the horse was just chilling, living his best life. And then she just like tamed it. Now it's like, you're gonna fucking work for me for the rest of your fucking life. <laughs> like, <laughs> the horse gotta pay rent. <laughs> the horse gotta pay rent too, bro. <laughs> the horse gotta pay rent you're gonna have to rely on him one way or the other. Yeah? You're gonna farm? I mean, she's a jinn. I bet she could do that. Can't she like change the weather or some shit? I wanna see it too. She leaving us? Oh, she going on that teacher. Oh, oh, lolly teacher. She, she, she going on that fucking Makoto fucking Misumi season two part one arc right now. Okay, she going to the school. Not as a student, but as a teacher. Okay. <laughs> Man, I'm going to be sad if Bella leaves. What is it? Oh, the farming magic. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, so we're going to have one section where we use magic to grow the crop and one section where we don't, just to prove a point. And then like, it's going to be so fucking different, bro. The size of the crops, it's going to be like super steroid GMO crops compared to this tiny ass little fucking thing that she's going to be able to grow. And she's going to be like, you know what? I fold. Let's use magic. I think we all know what's going to happen with the farm. Well, Lindrosa, what you doing? みんな自分のしたいこと。みんなが楽しそうにしていると、なんだか私も嬉しいですわ。実はさ、それは何ですの? リースの知り合いってまずいんじゃないけど、間違って。開けてくるよ、言っておきますので、ご心配にはおびませんわ。ダメでしたら何でもさせていただきます。アンナ。ですから遠慮なさらず。ですから遠慮なさらず。You would kill for me. それとこれ。The ear flicker. Not an engagement ring, but a wedding ring pretty much. We're we're married, right? Get on one knee. おそろい。Oh, matching guys. <laughs> Look at that tail wag. Look at that tail wag, you fucking furries. This motherfucker, dude. This motherfucker. All right, what's he gonna do next? Because you know he's not just gonna learn from his lesson and move on, right? What is he gonna do now? <laughs> The gold digger? Really? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I, as stupid and as shitty as a character he is, the voice acting, though. Come on. Come on. You got. You gotta come on. You gotta agree with the voice acting and these kind of roles. It just makes it so much fucking better, right? And that's the episode. Today's episode was. A whole lot of shit. I thought we were just gonna chill today, but then we had a bit of the action because obviously, you know, the other uh, magician was unsealed because of Hia's being unsealed, which I think is a terrible security. But then we just got rid of it so fucking easily. It wasn't even a it wasn't even a contest. I thought that this magician could be super powerful, but Hia the Jin. She is on a different fucking level. At the very least, the gold digger has been saved, and we still have you know her asset to take care of. Now Hia did swallow. You know the magician and she said that she's gonna put her in her mental escape and like 
correct or some shit. I'm not really sure what that means, but maybe we'll figure out in the future episodes. The bulk of the episode was then dedicated towards figuring out what the other girls are going to do because he is just, you know, taking over all the chores and all the other menial tasks. What are they going to do? They feel like they're not contributing anything. They feel like they're leeches, not even paying rent. So what do we do? We tame a horse, we buy more land, farm crops, and now 30% of the profits is going to go towards rent. So finally, they're they're just fucking, they're, they're useful now. Bellona? Sorry, Balona? Bellona. Balerona. I get the name cooking confused. I know Balirosa, but the other girl. Balori Bellona. That small magician girl. She's going to college as a teacher. I'm going to be kind of sad about that. I'm going to be kind of sad about that. Bellano, that's the one. I'm going to be a little bit sad about that, but does that really mean that she's just going to be like just gone from her overall cast of characters? I'm not really sure about that. And then Bali Rosa had a, had a strange look because everyone was kind of contributing. And Bali Rosa, I guess, kind of feels a little guilty that she's not really doing anything. Like she feels kind of out of place. I just still feel like we should have her and the dark one, you know, the, the Mao to get along and maybe it could be a political marriage that spawned from love genuine authentic love and then we can have peace with the demons and the humans and it'll be such a happy ending but that's just my head can that's it for me if you're still here if you enjoyed this reaction please like the video check out the other playlist with more content and until next time take care